just going to cover a few uh, basic mount uh, escapes here. So we'll start off with some simple stuff and then see about uh, sort of putting some things together. But uh, initially, Jim's going to be a, a mount on top of me. Really bad position for me. So a lot of times, like, um, come up for a second. A lot of times, the uh, people think about mount as one position, but it's a lot of different positions. So he could be like sitting up, you know, he'll be he'll be controlling my collar and sleeve or like uh, going for this kind of position here. Or he could be lower like he started out. He's going to be in this low mount. And then his legs can be in different positions here where they can be crossed. He can grapevine or he can cross high. And then if I screw up and my elbows get away from my body, he can come up and this would just be a high mount. And then he can shift to like a S mount to crush my ribs. <laughs> or he can, or if I go back his step, he might be like a, in side mount or technical mount. So he, he's gonna be like coming up behind me here. So all those things require a little different approach. <clears throat> we'll, we'll assume, let's just say he's just um, starting out in this kind of seat, seated mount here. Um, that means he's not going to be grapevine because he can't grapevine and be in a, a seated mount. Like grapevine? He has to come down. Oh, okay. See, so he, he, he won't be grapevine here. Um, <coughs> What I like to do is to kind of bump them down and create a barrier with my elbows. So I'm gonna pick, let's scoot this way a little bit. I'm gonna pick one side. I'm gonna use my knee, I guess we should scoot that. I'm gonna use my knee to kind of bump him here. Now go this way. And when I bump him with my knee to bring him forward, that's gonna put him in like a lower kind of mount here. And when he comes back down, I'm going to look to get on my side. And I want to put my, the side leg that I go toward on the ground and my elbow inside his knee. And then I want to keep my hand here, kind of defending my collar. And this hand is going to be down here by his belt. That way I can prevent his hips from coming up. So my, my elbow has to defend the climb. And it also makes, makes it so he can't get an arm bar. Because if my elbow's away here, yeah, now I'm in trouble. So the elbow's gonna be close, and it's gonna be blocking the hip. This elbow's gonna be here. And then if my head's down, he can't get behind to do like a choke. See, he, he would like to use this hand to come around, yeah, and he can start to like grab my collar, grab my collar here, Jim. Yes, yeah, and see, now you're gonna be in trouble here. So if if my head is like this and I have a little shrug, then if he tries to come around my head, he can't. Okay, and then now all it's gonna take is, there's gonna be different things that can happen depending on where his feet are. Like right here, what I feel like his weight is still on his uh, hips more. So I would kind of shrimp and depending on where his weight is, if his weight's over on this leg, then I'm just gonna shrimp my butt backward. And then when I do that, I'm creating all this space here so I can start to recover my guard, recover my guard this way. So there's the, the movement is gonna to be to get his, uh, the unweighted leg, I wanna push into it. <clears throat> so it's usually gonna be the leg that I'm facing. Cause if you put it on the other leg, see this, my elbow is gonna be able to just move that. Okay, so if we go back, we're here. <clears throat> he sits up, yeah, here, I'm gonna bump put my leg flat and then this this arm inside and then now in this case if if I could just like start to shrimp depending on where his weight is I can create space 
and start to get my guard back. So if I bring a knee inside, if it's this knee, then I can push, come around and for like the single leg X kind of position here. Or I could bring this leg in this way and get butterfly guard. Or, you know, this kind of position here. So go back this, go back this way and get the... So again, he, he get, uh, yeah, so seated mount. Um, I'm gonna bump. Leg goes flat. I make a brace so he can't climb his legs up. My right elbow has to stay tight. My left elbow, I want to put it inside his knee. Not outside, inside. Elbows tight, head's tight. Now here, the next step, I can just step over his leg. So, so here, if I don't feel like I can shrimp effectively, I'm just gonna step over his leg and I drag his foot in between. <clears throat> Once the foot's in between, I need to get the knee in between. So I'm gonna keep my brace with my right arm. I'm pushing here, this one comes over. Once it comes over, I need to hook this leg over his leg. I'm gonna face the other side. Yeah, he's hiding his foot. So, go ahead. Yeah, if he's <laughs> Then you'll be able to come into like a half guard. And then I can bring my feet out, go to close guard or open guard. Again. <laughs> so put your knee down. So here I step over, I drag his foot. So once I drag his foot, I'm gonna use my elbow. Here. Once I do this, if his leg is kind of trapped up near his butt over here, then when I face that way, I'm just going to use like a knee shield. Go to half top. Then once I'm in knee shield here, I can choose to play half guard or I can put my foot out. I mean, the open guard or close guard. <clears throat> so here, you just trap, create space. It's about creating barrier here. You come back. Up. <clears throat> so next, we get here and bridge him down. If I get to this position, he only has a couple options. Come up a little bit. If this elbow is tight to my ribs, it's going to be hard for him to come behind me. So if he's trying to go into a technical mount, my my arm is blocking his his ability to advance that leg over there. <clears throat> so usually, go back a step. <clears throat> usually, once we're here, he's going to want to try to put me on my back. <clears throat> he could cross face. Or he could try to pull my, my arm up. Yeah, so both things will occur. So let's say we get here, he starts to pull my arm up. I'm just, look, he has my arm. Look, let me show it to you. I'm gonna, he has my arm, I'm gonna grab his arm. So he grabbed my arm, grab my, yes. I'm just gonna grab his arm. I keep my right elbow at his hip over here and then <clears throat> Once I'm here, he he's not going to be able to post this arm. I'm just going to take this one over. And now all I have to do is just bridge. And then I make sure my elbow comes across so he doesn't go behind me or get on. Just get a grip on his on his sleeve. 
right here. And then this one comes over, just trap that foot. Now he doesn't have a post over here. So I can block here, just raise up and over. I gotta get my right up over here. And then get ready to pass the block. <coughs> This one is not one I would use against James here, but we're gonna go over it. So, so here, let's say his legs aren't hooked well. I'm just gonna bring my hands to the hips, and then I'm gonna do a bridge and get my knees in. So, you know, ideally my feet will be near my butt so he's not grapevining over here. Just going to suddenly bring my arms down. My hips are, my arms are connected to my hip power. Going to bridge. Up. Sit up. And now, you know, start to work the yard position. One more time on that one. We're here. If you're on your toes here, it's going to be stronger than if you're flat-footed. Can't raise my head. Go here. Now, <coughs> last thing. Let's say he's in a low mount <coughs> with a grapevine. This is just like really kind of uh, basic stuff, but the grapevine either on my leg here or up here it just varies a little bit <clears throat> you're gonna raise you can do it both at once or one or the other <clears throat> keep your elbows in the same way so i'd like to have my elbow post on the hip you hear <clears throat> great bunch so look raise up he can't follow that hook and then i come down when i come down with this one i can either strip that one I want to, <clears throat> or I could just, or I could just post here. I like when it, this one's hooked. <clears throat> I like to just come down here, and then hook, and then you know I'm going to be in a position where I can start to to escape here. <clears throat> Even smarter, <clears throat> go ahead, hook, right one. If I was facing a little bit toward my my left, if I free this one first, go here, then that's going to allow me when this one shoots under to be closer to an escape. So, here, up. Okay, stay here. So, if I can't get under, I mean, if I can't get over, then I'm gonna get under. I just make a hook. One more. <clears throat> so, if, so I can lift it, or I can step over and drag it. <clears throat> if you crop, if you crop this. I can't, I can't, my hips are trapped, so I need to be able to uncross his feet. Can you pop? So I step on the foot. It, it caused, it caused like a torque on his leg, so he doesn't want to keep it there. So once I step there, you can even get a heel hook pressure if you go there. See if, I put, all the way off of if I put there, I'll, I'll get more space. <clears throat> so, you gotta be careful. Like, don't just slam this down because you might hurt their knee. But you just open up their foot, <clears throat> and then. Or I could just step on his foot, start to kick it some space. And then finally, if he crosses him high, 
Yeah, here you have to sort of untangle the legs here. So you bring it up like you were freeing a grapevine, and then you're going to push out. Again, you know, make sure they can't hook. Once I free a leg, you don't want it hooked again. To escape. Okay, so that's <clears throat> just several things dealing with <clears throat> trying to get out of different kind of common mouth positions.